Hey there guys, what's up? It's JP here and I'm finally back with another part of my Reaper of Souls playthrough. My Diablo 3 playthrough rather. Uh, not just the Reaper of Souls. So it's been a while since I did a video here. Work has been a killer as usual and this is more like a hobby for me. This helps me clear my mind every once in a while, play a few games. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have heard about the nerfs to first stone, that's something else. Let's talk to some of these guys here. No, no, this guy, yep. Yeah. Uh, Hedrick's father. You spoke of Chaldeum. You lived there with your father? Yes, he was a diplomat. We had a manor with servants and terraces, all of that. Everything changed when the trouble started. Somehow, rumors spread that my grandfather was responsible for the king's madness. My father's work fell apart. No one would speak to him. He kept believing it would blow over, though. That is not the way of the world. No. I'd rather not talk about it now, if you don't mind. I've work to see to. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's see the Templars ending to say... If not, we'll go talk to the scoundrel. Where are you from? Kingsport, the city by the sea. Home to the great merchant fleets and endless nets of reeking fish. That sounds delightful. And what was your trade there? I was, um, a bit of a private dealer. So no honest work, then? Nonsense. I am the most honest thief you will ever meet. Wanted. One relic, scarlet, roughly the size of a man's fist. It was stolen two months past during a deplorable theft from the Merchant's Guild Bank. Those apprehended were not in possession of the item. Uh, the relic is greatly missed by its rightful owner, or who offers a reward for its safe return. Uh -huh. You spend quite a lot of time chasing women. Oops, I might have uh, gone a bit too far there. You spend quite a lot of time chasing women. We only have so many days in this world, and I choose to spend mine in worthy pursuits. I'm not sure you think very much of the women you... pursue. I've only found one worth keeping, but she slipped away from me. <laughs> what did you do wrong? I'd rather talk about the ones I caught and didn't want. Mm-hmm, that's, that's kind of nice, I guess. Uh, showing us how he's got game. Mm, let's see if the artisans have anything to say. Seems not. Not yet. I was thinking. Don't hurt yourself. So we could just go and take a look at the inn for a bit before we just do the next quest, which I can't imagine is too long. Let's see if there's anything in Deckard Kane's book here. Uh, looks like there might be. Nope. So we'll come back in here right after we talk to them, yeah? Now let's talk to Leah first. The Drowned Temple was once known as the Sarcium Emporis. It was the most sacred of their temples, a site where legend claims angels would come to impart their wisdom to the Nephilim. That's cool. And Deckard Cain? The World Stone was an ancient artifact of immense power. It was used not only to create our world, but also to control mankind. The original humans were known as the Nephilim, and their power was such that it was feared they would tip the balance in the eternal conflict between the high heavens and the burning hells. So the world stone was tuned to lessen our powers, turning mankind into what we are today. But now that it has been destroyed, it is conceivable that the powers of the Nephilim will reappear. That's, um, uh, expected. Destruction of the world stone. Material was forced to destroy the world stone when Baal, the Lord of Destruction, corrupted it in his attempt to control all of mankind. Unfortunate. It obliterated Mount Ariat, the mountain that housed it, leaving only a smoking crater in its place. And nothing has been heard from Tyrrell since. Uh, I can't imagine you talk to angels very often. You raised Leah during your travels, but the road is a dangerous place for a child. Not as dangerous as you might think. 
There was a calm about the world then. Most people paid no mind to an old man and young girl, weaponless and penniless, crossing their land. That's cool. So let's talk to the stranger. Here, the second piece of the sword. Magda now seeks the third. I remember a glow streaking towards a fishing village. The only fishing village near here is Wortham. You're right, Leah. It must be Wortham. There is a ferry on the edge of Tristram that will take you there. Let's talk to the stranger. Tell me of this coven. I have no memory of them, except a feeling, a darkness that is known to me. Known to you? The coven may be part of a greater evil. Perhaps I intended to fight it. You'll need your sword. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. So let's see if Leah has anything else to say here. Now we go in here, take a look at. Still nothing, still nothing. Anything from the scoundrel? Doesn't seem like it. And there we go. Vile things transpire even as we speak. I see a town in flames and an old friend paying the ultimate price to reveal the truth. I already know this. Oh, do you have the sight as well? No, I... Oh, never mind. Uh-huh, okay. That was really awkward. I can see the fires even from here. Where them burns? <sighs> It is only the truly evil who force the innocents to suffer for a battle they have no part in. Right. So let's just do that and then we'll probably end the video at that. Were them, please. I will take you, but beware. Smoke rises from the village. And then after that, I guess we'll do the killing of the spider Destroy queen. Destroy the town! Get out while you can! By all that is holy, the town is burning! One of the men retrieved a strange artifact in his nets. It looked like a hilt of an ancient blade, but I know it must be more. The fisherman argued with me, but I convinced him to leave it in the safety of the chapel. A holy place for a holy relic. Yeah, this is so much better than Smite. Death to those who defy the power of the coven. Or rather not Smite. We are better than the uh, hammer that I was using before justice. Uh, anything here? Looks like there's nothing. You have to forgive me guys, like I can't remember what goes on in these places. Please! My family's hiding in the chapel with the rest of the townsfolk. We must get to them! Don't run off! You'll get yourself killed! You cannot keep the sword from me! This is bad. My servants will burn this town to ashes! And Lord, the yeah. few hellions are demons that can be summoned from the burning hells with the aid of foul sorcery. They are given to chasing down their foes and attacking them with savage fangs. This usually allows some spare time for. I hear something coming. Ah oh, man, got interrupted These there. These enemies defy all reason. I require more wrath. A well-deserved death. You saved us. Um, no, you are not. All right. Let's just hear that one again, the Hellions. The bestial Hellions are demons that can be summoned from the burning hells with the aid of foul sorcery. They are given to chasing down their foes and attacking them with savage fangs. 
This usually allows some spare time for their masters to craft their dark spell work and finish off the victim. And yeah, it's nice. I seek the hilt of a sword. It fell from the sky. Have you seen it? We found it days ago. I wish we'd never brought it here. Come, I left Virgil to guard it. We will be glad to be rid of it. I'm going back to Tristram to check on Uncle Deckard. Sure. See these daggers any good? Uh, no. Nah. Oh, they certainly reduce the amount of gold that drops from this thing. Virgil's being dead and stuff. It's gone. While you were on your hero's errand here, I captured all three sword pieces and your friends. I should have known. I must get back to Kane's house. Nice and convenient here. Let's take a quick look around and see if anybody needs to say anything. I have some news. Just in case here. Yeah. Not ready yet. Alright, so this will be a huge blow to fans of Diablo. Who have not, for some reason, have not seen this or played this much. There we go, part six. When we retrieved the stranger's second sword piece, Magda found us. She's always on our heels. Who is she? She claims to know my mother, but how could that be? Regardless, we must beat her to wear them in the final piece of the sword. Yeah, well, we're a bit late for that, so spoilers time. It's your choice, Cain. Either use your Herodric arts to repair the sword, or your dear Leah dies a horrible death. <sighs> All oh, this pain, this destruction. What is the sword to you? To me, nothing. To my master, Belial, everything. <laughs> Your rage is overwhelming, girl. You win this round. But if the sword cannot be mine, I'll claim the one it's bound to. In the end, the blade shall be mine. Yeah. Oh, you can't die. Nothing can stop that now. But there is one last thing I must do. The sword must be made whole. Just as I suspected, the sword is of the high heavens. The stranger is an angel. Heed the journal. The truth lies within. Uncle ah. Deckard! So that really sucks. Uh... Well, that's one less character to talk to, I guess. So yeah, major spoilers there. So that'll be all for me for this video, guys. Um, I'll make it nice and short here. Um, yeah, the next one's a bit longer, so... Uh, that'll be all for me for this video, guys. If you're new, once again, you know the routine. Uh, do feel free to subscribe if you like the content. Uh, if you already subscribed, do like this video. And uh, I'll have another one for you pretty soon, I guess. Uh, yep, JP signing out.